Hi everybody, it's me again. I wanted to make a video and show you a very simple, easy, and toxic-free eye makeup remover. One of the things that I am pretty good at doing every night is taking my makeup off, particularly my eye makeup. I have a condition, I have very dry eyes, and um, I've struggled to try to find um, an eye makeup remover that doesn't sting or burn my eyes or irritate my eyes. I have found this one. It's just a regular drugstore brand. But remember that website I told you guys about? So I looked it up and it came up as a four. So four being in the moderately hazardous category, I um, got a little scared. I put this on my eyes every night. Um, there's ingredients in here. There's one ingredient that ranks seventh like ranks the number seven on the list and that's pretty scary it's got formaldehyde in it so I used to use formaldehyde in university not something I want to have in my eyes and I think they actually even banned it they don't even allow it anymore so anyway I want to get rid of this and find a better way I've been making one and I will share it with you today this recipe that I I love it doesn't burn my eyes doesn't dry out my eyes and it uses simple ingredients, essentially four ingredients. And um, I'll go over that with you in a second. All you need is some kind of bottle. They always recommend using essential oils and storing it into a glass bottle because some essential oils can uh, degrade with sunlight and they can eat through plastic as well, just because they're that powerful. Lavender, or sorry, frankincense and lavender are the two essential oils and they come in your premium starter kit that um, if you pay attention and I will be offering an awesome exciting thing on Monday. So um, it takes frankincense and lavender. Frankincense is amazing too for wrinkles. I'm getting there. I'm over 40 now and um, finding that I am getting some wrinkles. So frankincense is really good for that. Lavender is an all-around great moisturizer. It's also good for wrinkles. Don't we all need that, ladies? And um, it's also a great lash booster. It helps to improve the quality of your lashes. Um, you can use this mix all over as a moisturizer as well. So it's not just a night an eye makeup remover. Um, I like to use jojoba oil. It's I just got this at the health food store. It wasn't too bad. Um, it's less greasy and it's really good for your skin. And then something I can't live without is just um, my coconut oil. This one's an organic kind. I get it at the grocery store in the natural food section or just in the where all of the cooking oils are. It is solid at room temp and today is not as hot as it's been. So I did put it in a little bit of a shot glass and put it zapped in the microwave for a couple seconds just to kind of make it so it's liquid. I'm only going to be using a little bit of this because I do find that coconut oil is a little bit greasier on your face, which I don't mind at night because I find it just adds an extra moisturizer. So let's get started. Um, all you need to do is grab your bottle. This is one I had. It's a dropper bottle. Um, I've been looking and I still haven't found one yet. I've got some coming on order that is more like just um, like a one that just kind of squirts out a little bit and um, kind of like the bottles that you get in your kit. I'm using a funnel because I'm sloppy, so I'm just using a funnel. No rhyme or reason. You don't need any crazy measuring um, tools here. We're just going to eyeball it. So all you do is take your um, coconut oil, and I kind of just want maybe a quarter of the bottle. So I'm just going to do that. Might make a mess. And I am making a mess. That's lovely. I think I got about a quarter of it. This one might be a lot better because it's got a flip top. And I'm going to put the jojoba oil in there. Right. And make a little mess here. So then I'm just going to do five drops of lavender. Again, the lavender does come in the premium starter kit, and um, like I said, it's great for a lot of things, and it's included. I always check when I take the lid off that um, 
the inducer cap, I think is what it's called, is in there because I did open it once and I almost went to go pour it in and I would have lost all my oils. So all you need is five drops. One, two, four, five. Another one went in there, but that's no big deal. Put the cap back on. Open your frankincense. Double check. One, two, three, four, five. Again, another one went in there, but no big deal. Put the lid on. Shake it about. Now this is something I can't believe I'm going to do, but I will take it off. Just one of my eyes to show you how good it is. So I just use these handy things. I like to wet mine a bit just to put a little bit of water. Do a quick shake. Don't need very much. All I do, rub it on there. And like I said, I can't believe I'm doing this on a video. And that's it. It's all off and I am totally clean on this eye. Nice thing is it moisturizes all around your eye. So if you want to rub that in, you're good to go. And again, non-toxic doesn't have a rating on the Skin Deep program. Um, doesn't have chemicals I can't pronounce. Has coconut oil, jojoba oil, frankincense, and lavender essential oils, which are included in your premium starter kit. So if you have any questions or any comments, just shoot me a message. Thanks. Bye.